Dog breeds known to make excellent watchdogs. Do you want a dog that will simply bark at intruders and alert you? If that's the case, a watchdog may be exactly what you're looking for. When a threat enters the premises, watchdogs, unlike guard dogs, will not intervene. Several dog breeds are known for their persistent barking, which they utilize to alert their owners and keep intruders at bay. The best dog breeds that make excellent watchdogs are listed here as follows. Number 1. The terrier breed comprises both large and small dogs, although members of this breed have more in common than any other in terms of heritage and behavioral characteristics. Terriers were developed to keep pests out of barns and stables, to dig out difficult burrowing rodents, and to be useful in the stable in general. In England, where the majority of these breeds originated, terriers were used in rat killing as a poor man's amusement. The upper classes used terriers for fox hunting. Pit bulls were also bred to fight in pits, which is how they got their name. Throughout the late 1900s, dogfighting was outlawed in most western states and countries, and these dogs were bred for a friendly temperament rather than hostility. In the 18th century, only two types of terriers were recognized in Britain, long-legged and short-legged terriers. Terriers are widely classed in today's society based on their size or function. Hunting types are still used to find, track, or trail quarry, especially underground, as well as to bolt the quarry on occasion. Modern examples include the Jack Russell Terrier, Jag Terrier, Rat Terrier, Doberman, and Patterdale Terrier. Small animals were also hunted using short-legged terriers like the Cairn Terrier, Scottish Terrier, and West Highland White Terrier. Terriers range in size from the Little English Toy Terrier, black and tan, which can weigh as little as 2.7 kilograms, 6 pounds, to the huge rough-coated Airedale Terriers, which can weigh up to 25 kilograms, 56 pounds, or more. The American Hairless Terrier is a new hairless terrier breed that was recognized by the United Kennel Club in 2004. It is a descendant of the Rat Terrier. Number 2. The Poodle is a water dog breed that is also known as the Pudel in German and the Canich in French. The four sizes of the breed are the Standard Poodle, Medium Poodle, Miniature Poodle, and Toy Poodle, albeit the Medium Poodle variety is not often recognized. Wildfowl hunters first utilized the Standard Poodle to recover game from the water. It is most commonly attributed to Germany, but it is also said to have originated in France. The smaller breed varieties evolved from the original in France. Due to their intelligence, biddable natures, athleticism, and excellent looks, poodles were often utilized in circuses, particularly in France. Because a smaller dog is easier to manage and transport in a touring circus, the miniature poodle, which was originally known as the toy poodle until 1907, was purposefully bred down in size in French circuses. The variety was frequently seen executing a variety of acrobatics as a circus performer, including tightrope walking, acting out comedies, and even performing magic and card tricks. The variation gained popularity as a companion dog outside of the circus. Number 3. The term Shih Tzu literally means little lion, although this dog breed is not violent. This dog prefers to be a lover rather than a hunter. Shih Tzus, which were designed specifically to be companion dogs, are gregarious, sociable house dogs who like nothing more than following their owners from room to room. Since ancient times, they've made themselves at home on the laps of people from all walks of life, including monarchs. Instead of keeping Shih Tzus on their laps, pet parents have began to train them for obedience, rally, and agility events in recent years. They make fantastic family pets who get along with other animals, and even children, if the children understand how to gently handle and play with a small puppy. If you're looking for a small best friend who can adjust to apartment living, snuggle with you on the couch, and show you unconditional love, this could be the dog for you. It's important to remember that dogs of any breed might have health issues at any time during their lives. The short nose, big round eyes, ever-growing coat, floppy ears, and short and strong posture of this breed are distinctive, as are their ever-growing coat, floppy ears, and short and sturdy posture. They are noted for their enthusiastic energetic personality as well as a tranquil and nice demeanor, despite their little stature. They are highly independent dogs who can adapt to a wide range of situations. Due to their independent nature, they are not considered the most obedient breed. Number 4. 
The miniature Schnauzer is a dog breed that originated in Germany during the mid to late 19th century. From the tiniest specimens of the standard Schnauzer, or crosses between the standard and one or more lesser breeds such as the Affenpincher, Miniature Pincher, and Poodles, farmers may have created a little dog that was an adept ratting dog. They're regarded as spunky, but aloof dogs with good defending instincts, but not the tendency to bite that some guard dogs have. The four colors used to identify miniature schnauzers around the world are solid black, black and silver, salt, and pepper, and white. The miniature schnauzer, the tiniest of the three schnauzer breeds, is a generally healthy, long-lived, and low-shedding companion. Miniature schnauzers are small dogs that have been bred down from their larger counterparts, standard schnauzers, who stand 12 to 14 inches tall. Minnie's shaggy beard and eyebrows give him a wonderful, human-like appearance. The hard, wiry coat comes in three color patterns, salt and pepper, black and silver, and pure black. They were created to be all-around farm dogs and ratters, and are sturdy, muscular, and brave without being vicious. The miniature schnauzer is a bright, social, and trainable companion tiny enough to fit in an apartment yet tough enough to patrol acres of farmland. They get along well with both other animals and children. Minis are tough little guys that love to have a good time. Because they are home and family oriented, they make ideal watchdogs. Number 5. The Datshund is a hound type dog breed with short legs and a long body. It is also known as the wiener dog, badger dog, or sausage dog. Smooth, wire, and long-haired are some of the textures available. The miniature Datshund was created to hunt rabbits and other small animals, whereas the normal Datshund was created to sniff, chase, and flush out badgers and other burrowing animals. With his unmistakable long-backed form, little legs, and huge attitude, the Datshund is an emblem of purebred dogdom. Datshunds are available in three coat types, smooth, wire-haired, and long-haired, and in sizes ranging from 16 to 32 pounds to 11 pounds or less. Datshunds aren't built for long-distance sprinting, leaping, or strenuous swimming, but they'll take on any challenge. They make good watchdogs, since they are intelligent and vigilant, and they bark like a big dog. They were developed to be self-sufficient hunters of difficult game, and while they may be rash and stubborn at times, their charming demeanor and distinctive appearance have earned millions of hearts around the world. Datshunds are entertaining, but they can be difficult to train as hunting dogs. They are known for chasing small animals, birds, and tennis balls with ferocious zeal. Because of their stubbornness, Datshunds can be tough to teach. Number 6. Chihuahuas are considered the smallest breed by several kennel clubs. Current breed standards require a apple head or apple dome skull conformation. Chihuahuas have a tall, erect head with a high, dramatically rounded cranium and huge white eyes. A well-defined halt is achieved when the muzzle contacts the skull at a nearly 90-degree angle. Dogs with a flat pop skull, more widely spread eyes, larger ears, and longer, thin legs, such as the older deer shape, are still eligible for registration. This dog's breed standard normally does not include a height, but rather a weight and a description of the dog's overall dimensions. A dog's average height is between 6 and 9 inches, 15 and 23 centimeters. Nevertheless, some canines can grow to be 30 to 38 centimeters tall, 12 to 15 inches. According to both British and American breed standards, a Chihuahua must weigh no more than 5.9 pounds, 2.7 kilograms, for confirmation. Chihuahuas are lap dogs at heart, and they can't seem to get enough time with their owners. If they aren't snuggling with you, they may be curled up in a corner or hiding behind a blanket. Or they've discovered a ray of sunshine in which to bathe. The Chihuahua, like many other little dogs, has a tendency to be aggressive toward people and other dogs. Number 7. The small pincher, often known as the Zwerkpincher or Min Pin, is a German miniature pincher breed. The German Pinscher, which was mixed with Italian Greyhounds and Datschens, is said to be the breed's ancestor. Based on historical relics and artwork, the Min Pin is considered to be a very old breed, yet factual date of only dates back fewer than 200 years, casting doubt on its true origins. The short-haired German Pinscher has been added to the family tree by many historians and breed researchers who believe its heritage is most likely correct. The Miniature Pinscher is a bold, outgoing, lively, and independent breed. Miniature pinchers are high-energy dogs who need to run in a fenced yard, they make excellent agility dogs. They are terrific escape artists, so a kennel with a cover is recommended for them to run around in. 
They are good watchdogs because they are always on the lookout for strangers. Adults and teenagers should play with a miniature pincher rather than small children because younger children can be rough. Miniature pinchers are a difficult breed to train, but once trained, they will obey orders well.